Yo guys, welcome back to another one of Jolty's Beer Reviews. Today we are looking at Kingfisher Premium. Since 1857, Premium Lager Beer, the finest malted barley and hops, India's number one premium beer. There's a label. The wee Kingfisher bud there. Beautiful label. Really nice. Okay, let's look at the back, guys. Kingfisher is India's number one beer and a premium lager for all occasions. Brewed with the finest sass hops, known for their notable pedigree and crisp delivery. It's no wonder that Kingfisher has won multiple awards for its refreshing taste, citrusy hints and smooth drinkability. Whether you're complimenting a curry or raising a glass and relaxing, Celebrate the real taste of India with a cold King Fisher. Ingredients, water, malted barley, glucose syrup, torrefied wheat, hops, colour caramel. Oh, colour. It's caramel, okay. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Cool. And it's a bottle cap. Bottle cap has that beautiful wee King Fisher bird there. Lovely. Okay, guys. Um... Let's just see what this is all about. So, um, I'm on um, on Facebook. I am a part of two beer groups. One, Alcohol Legs from Ronald Terrio or Jay. Brilliant page. It's a lot more educated. Um, and there's another one that I'm on called Beer Lovers, which we just post pictures and stuff. So another, a shout out to Alcohol Legs and a shout out to Beer Lovers. Um, the reason I'm mentioning this is because on Beer Lovers, it's um, an Indian beer page, um, sorry, group. If you look it up, you'll see it. And all you're going to see on this, well, the most beer you're going to see in this is Kingfisher. Like, um, that's the majority, that's all they post is Kingfisher mostly. This and Kingfisher Strong, which is Kingfisher, um, it has a red label when it's Kingfisher and it says Strong, which is like 7%, 7.2% or something. We can't get Kingfisher strong here, or we try it for years, um, but we do get Kingfisher. So on the Beer Lovers page on Facebook, which is an Indian group, um, that is the that is what they all post is Kingfisher stuff. Um, yeah. So check those groups out, um, guys. Alcohol legs and beer lovers. Beer lovers is if you just want to like post a wee picture of what you're drinking and stuff like that. Um, alcohol legs is like your more educated stuff, you know. So yeah. Um, okay, guys. So green bottle. I love the artwork on this. Let's just set that there right now. Set the key actually. Look at the carbonation now. Carbonation rising up to the glass like crazy. So the appearance of the beer in the glass is very, very clear and very, very fizzy. Very fizzy, guys. As you can see, look at the carbonation. Very, very well carbonated. Um, 4.8% alcohol, sorry. 4.8. Sorry, I, just, I, for, I forgot about the alcohol percentage. I was just wanting to make, just wanted to remind myself. 4.8. And uh, I was, I'm sure that, I'm, sh I'm sure I said that on, I'm sure I said that there. I'm sorry if I missed the alcohol percentage out. Kingfisher, 4.8% this one is. So, very clear appearance, light gold, very see-through, thin white bubbly head. Okay guys, let's go off the aroma. Ooh. Smell hops, bread, a little bit of a roast smell, a roasted malt, roasted malt kind of smell there. Hmm, that smells quite nice, guys. Cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Kingfisher beer or premium Kingfisher premium lager beer. Cheers, guys.
Mm-hmm. It tastes a little bit dry in a way, which is a good thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really well balanced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. And the bottle is right. It says that it would go well with a curry. Definitely. It would go perfect with food. Any food, any spicy food. Um, I love spicy food. I love curry, so I would happily have it with a curry. That's really nice. Um, the drinkability in this is huge. Um, it's very hoppy. Sorry, it's very hoppy, guys. Not really drink. I love that. It's pretty hoppy, um, it's smooth, it's kind of dry in a way, um, like kind of like a sake dry, that sort of dryness, um, but that's good, I like that, a bit racy, sweet on the aftertaste, and the back end is, the sweetness comes through, um, <laughs> it's bready, it tastes like kind of non bread kind of taste in a way there. Mm. I'm getting non bread or something on the taste there. I don't know why. Kind of bready taste, hoppy, smooth. Very well carbonated too. Wow. Yeah, guys, I understand why it's number um, why it's the number one beer in India because it's it's perfect. It's great. And. Let's go with the, okay, before I finish this, because now we're done, um, let's go with the, the artwork. So, the artwork, pretty nice. I love birds. Birds are one of my favourite animals. I love all birds. I think they're beautiful creatures. Um, beautiful animals, sorry. And, yeah, kingfishers are absolutely beautiful. Nice artwork. So, for the artwork, I'm going to give it a 9.8. 9.8 out of 10 for the artwork, guys, because it's really nice looking bottle. Um, yeah. This is back, guys, in case you want to see the back. If you guys can see that or not. They are perfect, it's focusing. Okay. Yeah. The artwork will give a 9.8 out of 10. The drinkability, I would say, is probably like a 9 out of 10. <sighs> it's very, very drinkable. The drinkability is very high. That's good, guys. So you get this rush of carbonation, and then these rush of flavours, and then it just stops. But the flavours are still there. It stops, I mean, like, you get... It's watery when you first dive in, and then it's, like, gone. But then the flavours are still there. That's what I mean, and it's kind of dry in a way, but in a good way. Um, it's pretty hoppy. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's bready. Tasting bread, it tastes bready in a way, and yeasty, slightly yeasty, not overly. Slightly bitter too, a sweet bitterness there. That's nice, guys. Um, I have had this before, yes, but um, I didn't really take much into consideration when I was drinking it, you know. 
um, when I come on here, I actually experience it being a whole new level. And this is, this is really good. I like it. I like this one. Mmm. Finito. Mmm. That's good. That's brilliant. Like, as I said earlier, I'm on this beer group called Beer Lovers. Shout out to you guys. Um, and the majority of the posts contain Kingfisher. Either this one or the red labelled one, which is Kingfisher Strong. Um, and I understand why. I understand why it's so popular. It's, it's a great brew. It's well balanced, extremely well balanced. In fact, um, it's pretty sessional. Four point eight percent alcohol. It's pretty sessionable, guys. You know. Um, <clears throat> would you look all right drinking this from the bottle? Yeah. You feel pretty cool drinking it from the bottle, but I prefer my beer in the glass. But if you're drinking it from the bottle, like. Yeah. Definitely. Okay guys, I'm gonna give Kingfisher my final score out of ten. So I'm going to give this guy a <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it an oh this is getting a big one, this is getting a good score. And I think I'm gonna try and find room for it somewhere over there. Um Okay guys, final score of Kingfisher Premium Lager Beer, India's number one beer. What do I rate this guy? What do I rate it? What do I rate it? I will give this guy a 9 point... <laughs> I'll give this guy a 9 point 8 out of 10 for the final score guy. Guys, 9 point 9, 9 point 9 out of 10. 9.9, 9.9 out of 10 for Kingfisher from Geordie's Beer Reviews, guys. And it's going to go... Where can I put it? Where can I put it, guys? Where can I put it? Where can I put it? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's not going to, it's going to end up falling. I'll just put it there. I'll put it there and then I'll get away like a shelf or something for all these beers. So Kingfisher's getting put on the display, guys. Um, yeah, so 9.9 out of 10 for Kingfisher from Geordie's Beer Reviews, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys are all awesome. If you guys want me to review a beer, please comment down below and tell me what beer you would like me to review. And I will catch you guys in the next beer review. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys.